So well, let's take a look at the Florida Derby and what a race this was for one and horse now the anyway. And the 73rd Florida Derby. They're in the gate. And, and here, here was the race was won right here, Fierceness the break. Fierceness got a perfect draw. break. Johnny V, the Hall of Famer, got him exactly where he needed to be. And at this point, this race is over. Um, you know, the, this horse was unencumbered, out of trouble. He did exactly what he should have done, get this horse on the lead, not worry about anything else, any impediments, any potential trouble. And that's where this horse does uh, his damage. And pretty much the rest is history at this point. Now, if we look at the others, I thought Catalytic. We thought he was going to run well, but I didn't expect him to run this well. He ran a monster, monster race. And, uh, you know, he is following Mage's pattern. Uh, I'm only going to say uh, he's not, uh, I think it's a tall order for him to go to a mile and a quarter in his second route and his, uh, what, fourth lifetime start. But he ran a pretty damn big race, and I was impressed with him. Uh, Grimmo the first, I guess, kept on pretty well. I mean, it's hard to give anybody a really good grade. Uh, because Hades was absolutely nowhere. They tried to raid him, and that didn't work. Um, Frankie's Empire, you see him coming on there. He ran his race. Uh, just wasn't good enough, much like the Fountain of Youth. Conquest Warrior really uh, was, you know, you can't say anything else, but he was just a complete disappointment. You see, he saved all the ground, really no excuses at all. He just didn't have it. Um, and you see that, you know, even closing the way he does, he can't get to Catalytic, and I think that really uh, speaks quite a bit to the rest of this field, not taking anything away from fierceness whatsoever. That was an absolute monster performance, and uh, it is very intriguing to think about him for the Derby, which fierceness is going to show up. Before grading this race out, um, <laughs> what do you say? I mean, to me, you only had two standouts in this race, the first and second place finisher. Fierceness gets an A+, plus, A++. Plus plus. That was just an outstanding race. What can you say? Uh, I will say this, though. It, he had it all his own way. Uh, Johnny V gave him a masterful ride, put him exactly where he wanted to be, and he did not face any type of challenge whatsoever. So still have that question about adversity. However, the talent is obviously there. And he dusted a field like a good horse should, so he gets an A+. Uh, Catalytic was, I thought, ran just an awesome race. Really awesome. Uh, broke well, rated well. Just, you know, no, ma no match for Fierceness. But think about it. If Fierceness isn't in the race, Catalytic wins by two or three lengths over uh, that field. So I think it really speaks more to uh, how subpar that the Florida Derby Trail has been this year just hasn't been very good at all. And you really even have to go back and say uh, the fact that LaDom Bro uh, was able to run such a big race in the Fountain of Youth. Maybe he had a bounce here. That's possible. But you can't really give Dornock a whole lot of credit uh, when you see that effort from the, in, uh, for, by LaDon Bro in the Florida Derby, he was nowhere. So he gets a D-plus. He bounced. Frankie's Empire ran his race, so he gets a C. You know, he closed well. He, he, he hung around. And um, that, you know, he's fine. It just, but that's not good enough. Not going to cut it for the Derby. Hades was nowhere. Uh, he didn't factor in the race at all. They tried to take him back and raid him. I'm not sure why. Um, in the two-hole, it would have been more logical to just go up and you know, try to knock heads with fierceness, and then you find out what kind of horse he is. It certainly aided fierceness to not have any type of challenge on the engine early. Um, Grandmo the first gets some credit for trying to, uh, and he hung around well. I mean, I, I'll give him a credit for running a solid third, but again, this just wasn't that good a field. It just isn't. Uh, Real Macho, you know, A for effort, C for actual results. Um, Catalytic, we talked about Seminole Chief and Bayless out scratched. I pretty much knew when Bayless out scratched that Fierceness was ready to roll. I, I just had that feeling. I was like, Mike Rapoli's going to put two horses in this race, and if there's any doubt about Fierceness, then he's got Bayless out. But 
that told me that to me was the sign right there that uh, it was all over. Conquest Warrior, it was his first stakes effort, and he did get fourth. But you really can't like that race, and I'm I'm actually B minus is being kind because it was his first stakes race. He saved all the ground. He had every chance, and. While Fierceness tactically certainly had an edge over him being up on the engine on a speed-favoring track. Uh, and I'm, again, I don't want to take anything away from Fierceness because that was an awesome effort. Uh, Conquest Warrior just ran a, a really disappointing race. I think he probably will get better as he gets older. But uh, that was pretty disappointing. And I'm kind of glad he won't have enough points to get in the Derby. And I don't think Shug will take him any farther in that pursuit because uh, I think it would be really disappointing. And, of course, Iris's dream just isn't a derby horse. She was in there for the field. No good. So, uh, obviously, the star of the show was Fierceness, uh, followed very closely by Catalytic. Uh, but, frankly, any other horse from this race, I don't think we have to worry about at all as a serious derby contender. 